Hi, my name's Keith Cooper from North Flight Images, and I just want to share in this video a great bit of news for me I found this morning. Piece of software I've used for years for making panoramic pictures, big panoramic prints that I thought had been lost because company was taken over, etc. etc. Um, is now available for free. Now, that's great. Uh, this is software that um, I've kept an old Mac running just to be able to use this stuff because I had a licensed copy of it and it's Autopano Giga. Now, what's so great about it? There are lots of pano stitching. Certainly it's improved in Lightroom and Photoshop stitching has improved, but it isn't the same as this. Uh, this is one that I really got into a few years ago and um, it's now available for free. I'll put all the links in the notes for it. It's even for those of you of a suitably masochistic tendency available on Linux. Um, now I say that somewhat tongue-in-cheek because um, one of my previous career jobs uh, I used to look after Unix workstations and things so you know I've got quite a mix of histories there and oh and Windows as well. Here's the software I'm running it. I'm running this software and it's a licensed copy. The people at Color, who uh, the company was sold out, um, have made a version of it available, the last version, and they've made the licensing available for it so you can just download it and register it. Um, the software near here, now this is 2018, I think the last update, this is a 64-bit version of it. It's running on a current 15 inch M3 PowerBook. So this is new PowerBook I've got um, a while ago. Um, connected up to these two monitors. You'll notice not the normal Mac Studio I've got here. The Mac Studio is now down the other end of the office, connected up to my two main uh, displays, both 32 inch displays, um, which are also connected up to the Mac Pro that I use. So uh, I've got quite a mix of things, but this particular software, it installs fine. Uh, I'm running the very latest uh, MacOS 14.4, 14 point something anyway. What it, it's the latest version of it running here. When you install it, there are options to install plugins for Lightroom and for uh, Photoshop. Uh, so for Bridge, Adobe Bridge, this is for handling files and getting files straight into this. Um, they do appear to have problems, but I'm going to lay the blame for that firmly at Adobe's door. They pull the rug under software developers pretty regularly. So, you know, any old Photoshop stuff, you're going to have difficulty running. Unless, of course, you're running an older copy of Photoshop, um, in which case it'll work fine. But if you have difficulties installing on a Mac, don't know about the other systems, just on the installer, don't untick those two plugins or anything like that. But anyway, what does the software do? What has it done? This here is the very big 14 meter print I made a few years and uh, had a, an exhibit here in Leicester. It's Leicester city centre. It's huge. I've got an article that describes in detail the making of it, the software, the choices, including how to use this software for it, how, how this was an integral part of making that picture. Um, this shot from the Lake District, this is just a few handheld shots taken, if I remember rightly, with a 5DS, um, just manually panning across, stitching here and then cropping. Um, you don't need to stick, you know, to, to do perfect uh, sections. It'll handle offset images perfectly well. But I've got, I say, this are an article, very detailed article about using it to create this one here. I've also got a couple of reviews of slightly older versions, which are ex perfectly relevant to this version about how to use it, why I use it, things like that. And of course, it's free. So uh, yes, there may be better solutions these days, but I've used this for years, so I know the intricacies of it. And incidentally, it runs far faster on this laptop than it did on my multi-core Mac Pro. Um, it, with its, uh, it runs pretty much flat out on this. Um, all the cores seem to be running and doing stuff, although though, you know, being a modern Mac, I've no idea precisely what's going on it. Uh, my, my detailed hardware knowledge of fixing Macs and the likes is at about a decade out of date. But yeah, there it is, it's running here. I've opened some files, I've stitched an image, 
um, the stitching here, they're, they're about 20 odd megapixel TIFFs, I think they were, and it stitched all of those images there, taken with a gigapan, by the way, that's a motorised panning unit to uh, you know, take the, the pictures. Got lots of stuff like this on the North Light Images website. Predates my making videos, so you're going to have to actually read the, uh, read the articles. Well. But if I make a, an interesting new picture of some sort, then um, yes, I'll, I'll do a video about it as well. But at the moment, you're going to have to actually read stuff about it. Um, the header picture that's on many of my articles on the website, a big wide panoramic, that's also stitched with this. Why did I look for this this morning? Well, somebody asked me about using tilt shift lenses, using shift lenses for making panoramics by doing side to side stitches. And I was explaining aspects of how the projection geometry is what matters when you're doing wide uh, panoramics. And so I looked at an example with this. And then I, that's where I discovered that the software is now available for free. So there you have it. It's running here, let's say perfectly well. Um, it took, say, under a minute to stitch this big image here. Um, and that is some 20,000 by 30,000 pixels, I think. So uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, not for everybody, but um, yeah, thanks to Colour or the people at Colour for being able to release this. Um, I guess it's sufficiently old that the people who bought the company out um, decided that you know, rights reverted and things like that. But anyway, I don't know the details of it, but if you're interested in it, lots of articles, check the download links, which I'll put in the notes to the video. Um, there you go. More stuff for me to try. And I'm, it's nice to have this back and on new machines rather than having to fire up an old machine to run it. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please do ask. Because as I say, it's somebody's question about a somewhat unrelated matter that led me to f discover this was available again this morning. So there you have it. Thanks. Bye.